a sign of malignancy. It's the most common. It's wrong and has this calcification that are called Samoma bodies and are seen in approximately 25% of the papillary thyroid cancers. The major route of a spread of the papillary are the lymphatics and this is for that they need to look in the lymphatic ganglia around the thyroid gland. After 20 years the mortality from papillary thyroid cancer is very low only 4% to 8% is not really a dangerous cancer. The sonographic characteristics of a papillary carcinoma are hypoechoic with microcalcification, a lot of vascularity and metastasis to the cervical lymph node. Follicular carcinoma is the second subtype of well differentiated thyroid cancers. There are two variants of the follicular carcinoma. One is minimal invasive and the other is widely invasive follicular carcinoma and are not encapsulated. Not capsula means that are malignant, are infiltratives. It's only 5% to 50% of all the thyroid cancers and is more common in women. Papillary is more common than follicular. And follicular are different of the papillary spread by the blood stream and this is you can remember follicular have the letter F and you can remember fluid papillary go lymphatic follicular go through the blood medullary carcinoma account only 5% but is a malignant disease is not part of the follicular cells are developing from the cells that produce calcitonin or call it parafollicular cells. This cancer is frequently familiar and has is one component of the multiple endocrine neoplasia this is one familiar disease. It's called MEN, multiple endocrine neoplasia have frequently this thyroid cancer with other cancers. England. Anaplastic thyroid carcinoma is a disease of the old people and is very lethal is very bad but it's not frequent. It's less than 5% of the thyroid cancers but have a very bad prognosis with a mortality in 5 years more than 90% of the patients. Very dangerous cancer. The tumor has a rapid growing and the mass go outside by directly spread. You can see here this cancer. Are usually hypoechoic and cannot be examined by ultrasound because are very big. When you can see this cancer in general you cannot make surgery 
are very dangerous cancers. Lymphomas of the thyroid are only 4% of all thyroid malignancy and have a characteristic are not vascular there are not a lot of blood flow inside a lymphoma. 70 to 80 percent of the case are posterior to Hashimoto disease. The clinical of the thyroid that let you know is a nodule is benign or malignant. This is very important to determine. Ultrasound alone cannot determine if a nodule is benign or malignant, but can help with some characteristics to the decision of the doctor to make a biopsy. Biopsy of the nodule is the final diagnosis of the nodule is benign or malignant. There are several method to characterize a nodule. Radionucleoid image, this is nuclear medicine, sonography and the most important and the best is the fine needle aspiration or biopsy. In general ultrasound help to localize the nodule and to take the biopsy. Biopsy of the thyroid is the best method to know if a nodule is malignant. With ultrasound you cannot determine if a nodule is benign or malignant. You only can help the doctor to take a decision. But only the biopsy let know the medical doctor if a nodule is malignant or not. Fine needle thyroid aspirates are classified in four categories negative, positive, suspicious, and sometimes non diagnostic. With the biopsies, the percentage of patients that have thyroidectomy had decreased because doctor can recognize a lot of nodules that are not dangerous and this is for that ultrasound and biopsy are very helpful to diagnose thyroid nodules. Ultrasound can help in thyroid problems with the detection of nodule, the differentiation of the possibility to be benign or malignant and helping the biopsies. But remember, the final diagnostic, the definitive diagnostic of a thyroid nodule only can be due with biopsy. Ultrasound only helps, but is not the definitive diagnosis of a thyroid nodule. Detection. Of course, ultrasound is very good. Even in this case, you can see the mass in the neck. Sometimes you cannot see or palpate. And ultrasound let the doctor know there are a nodule in 